Hi everyone. Well, it's good to be back on YouTube posting videos. So today marks the very first, actually kind of second video that I post for uh, the brand spanking new 2023. And what better way to start off with tarantula feeding video. I'm going to call it this one 148 because I did technically upload 147 but I never finished it. But anyway, so this is the brand spanking new uh, feeding video for me. Hope you enjoy it. Grab a bag of popcorn, your favorite drink and let's get started all right the very first tarantula that we're going to attempt to feed is a pseudo haplopus species blue from south america uh, the common name of it escapes me i'm going to put it on the video description as long with the timestamps so you know which is your favorite tarantula which will appear in the feeding video ha <laughs> boosh i love it yeah this was a quite a rare tarantula. I remember paying for this one, I think it was about $185 uh, for the specimen you see before you. Around a three inch female. Success. Now this tarantula should be no surprise to you for the veterans that watch my channel since uh, the beginning of the days. Just gonna push it here she's grown a monstrous size right now uh, I would say she's a good five and a half pushing six inches right now definitely a uh, way way more growing to do this is Daisy <laughs> my LP my last door power Hibana the salmon pink bird eater watch this boosh there is one man she's huge I love her she was this small one I raised her. Uh, she's as big as my, well, my former T. Sturmy, who sadly passed on. Uh, I don't know what she's doing. Come on, Daisy. Maybe she's gonna let me. Come on, come on, show me, show me your greediness. <laughs> there we go. She's so fun. There we go. Lassiodora Power Hibana Salmon Pink Bird Eater. Here's another classic tarantula that everyone should get on their wish list. This is a green bottle blue, uh, Chromatopalma cyanopibescens. Perfect. One more for good measure. I see she's gonna take two. I think one's enough for her. Beautiful. The infamous Gramostola poteri, uh, common rose hair, which is ain't so common now in the hobby. Beautiful. That's some fang looking good worms. <laughs> nice. Next. All right, here's another rose hair. This one is Angelica. She gonna go for it, is she? There we go, that's my girl. Perfect. All right, this one is gonna get a little cricket. A Phonopelma calcotes. Uh, the desert blonde. Hmm. 
There we go. Uh, excellent. <laughs> Love it. Okay, next one. All right, this one here is a Toledo to Coddle Vagans, formerly a Bracky Palma Vagans. This is the Mexican Red Rump. Uh, this is the one I named Annette. Growing fairly well. Here's everyone's favorite Grandma Stola. This is Grandma Stola species Mall or species Conception. The orange fluff. Oops, sorry, Laura. She may be getting ready for a pre for a molt. She hasn't molted in probably what seems to be an eternity. I have two super rims in there. Uh, if she if she's really hungry, she'd have already went for it. Oh, there we go. There we go. She's got some class in her. Bless her heart. Excellent. All right, little half-inch Eupalistris uh, Wagenbergi, which is the white collared. As you can see, those small tarantulas, I feed them pinhead crickets. Anyways, I'll leave it in the feeding video because I'll uh, show you how I feed slings this small. Okay, so this one here is a Gramistola pulchropes, which is the Chaco Goldeny. Uh, for some reason, very difficult to find. So anyway, here is a two inch female. Yes. <laughs> There we go. I know in the light you won't be able to see it much. There we go. Perfect. All right, so you're not able to see it, but she's over there. This is my little P. Metallica female. I'm going to give her two crickets. <laughs> there we go. Got it. All right. Let's have a little peek at her. Yeah, it's, it's very blurry. You won't be able to see her very much, but... She's there. Okay, this one's a little bit more visible. Uh, this is a female Ramish Warm Ornamental. Uh, Pisotheria Hanuma Villa Samnica. It's probably going to be very difficult for <laughs> to actually get the super worm because she decided to, you know, hide at the worst possible spot. Uh, maybe what I could do 
so I can do this. Grab my finger. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you tongue feed a pokey. <laughs> there we go, she's beautiful. Uh, she's probably about three, three and a half inches. That worked quite nicely. All right, this one here is a sex female, Pisotheria regalis. This is the Indian ornamental. These guys are huge, but not as big as Zornata or Rufolata. There we go. This one's about three inches, I would say. All right, guys. Um, this one here is a very, very big female. Pira Gallus. She is absolutely ginormous. Just uh, zoom in. Put a macro. Oh. There we go. Okay, let's give another super. She is approximately around seven, eight inches. Beautiful. There we go. You can see the clear abdominal band, which indicates the regalis. I got this particular female from uh, Billy. Uh, who is uh, Jaffe's Exotics uh, friend. It's one of his females that I purchased from him over the summer. That's what Regalis get. Really beautiful spider. Alright, done for the pokies now. So we're looking at another rose here, Gramasola Poteri. one's Angelica. All right, hopefully we're going to be very lucky to see this specimen right here. Uh, you're looking at a Pamphobedia species Pasia. Uh, don't know what the, sign, the common name for it is yet, but it'll likely be on the video description if I find it. So here we go. This is a three and a half inch uncessed specimen. Oh, it's coming. It's a pampho, so you know how hungry these guys are. Oh. Beautiful. There we go. Ah, it's a, it's a pretty sizable specimen. Perfect. Here we go, the Holly Jolly Christmas Tarantula. This is a Thrixopelma ochrety, which is the giant Peru flame rump. Two inch female that I got from YouTuber Chantal's Critter Keepers. <laughs> Jesus, okay, same specimen, but larger and more and more striking in natural light. This is a four inch female. This is an adult. Uh, love picking them hairs. Perfect. Oh, you're so pretty. Give you one more. Because I like you. Oh, I'm sure you'll get it. 
What a striking specimen. And all that's missing is the Santa hat. <laughs> okay, this one here, Gramostola rosea. Uh, red face. Uh, this is the Chilean fire rump. Or rose hair red face. There we go. Lois from Family Guy. <laughs> ah, beautiful to see her eat. Excellent. Alright, this one is a very, very pretty tarantula from. Uh, da, 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 Chile, New World. This one here is a Euathlus pulchor maclasi, also picked up from uh, Chantal's Critter Keepers. This is about four inches, recently molted. I uh, don't know the common name of it yet, but I can see it kind of resembles a Bioratum with the red knees. Okay, let's get another. She wants it. Come on. Look at her. Amazing. Absolutely gorgeous. Alrighty, looks like we recently had a, another molted specimen. This one here is an Afono Pelma Hensi which is the Texas 10. Oh, savage. That was cool. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, it's Oklahoma Brown. Anyways, I, I prefer the Fono Palma Hensi, to be honest. Yeah, very nice. I would say good three inches. Leading towards female, but uh, need a nice ventral shot to confirm. But Wow, surprised. Love it. All right, this one here is a Trineo Palma Sazame, which is the Brazilian Blue Beauty, not to be confused with the dwarf version which is uh, Diametamensis, or D uh, Delicatheli. Perfect. It's close to the three inch mark. And I still have that little small male and a large female, which you'll likely see in part two. All right, next one is an Afono Palma Calcodes Desert Blonde. Perfect. Three inch female. Oh, she likes the burrow, this one. Uh, this is a Phonopelma simani, which is the Costa Rican zebra, the famous home alone tarantula. There we go, you got a nice glimpse of her. This one has very, very Nice coloration. This is Petunia, my big female Brachypalma classy. The Mexican pink. Gorgeous. Perfect. Two superworms in one go. She's amazing. All right, this one here is a Tilotocotyl albopolosum. Uh, this is the Nicaragua form. 
little small spiderling. Ooh. I got from Chantal Critters once again. Oh, look at that. This little tea has spunk. See, it's about an inch right now. This is how I feed spiderlings. I just give them pinhead crickets, like a size of about a quarter to half inch. Love the curly hairs. And I got a bunch of the Mitchell species in part two. All right, so I think four more tarantulas and that'll be the end of part one. All right, this one here is a Nandu caropoensis. This is the Brazilian red bird eater. Boosh, <laughs> there we go. As simple as that. Uh, they're gonna get about six inches when they're full grown and they're gonna have some nice red tinges when they are fully grown. This one doesn't have it as yet. It's kind of more more of a uh, brownish color. Excellent. Love it. All right, meet my smallest rose hair, Gramistola poteri. Such a fearless creature. There we go. Good job. One of my more slower growing specimens. All right, the next tea we're featuring is a Brachypelma homori, which is the former smithy, the Mexican red knee. This is a sexed male. Which is kind of rare to see uh, Brachypelma males. Not often you come by them for sale. I got this one from the former, my former friend, Ryan Mack. All right, second to last tea we're featuring is the Lassiodora difficilis, which is the Brazilian fire red bird eater. <laughs> this is a four inch female. She's gonna be big, big, massive, like eight to 10 inches on average. She's around four, so half the size. Oh, getting Facebook messages. And last but certainly not least, we're gonna feed Big Marissa, which is my massive El Kluge. And there she be, <laughs> Lassiodora Kluge, which is the Bahia Scarlet Bird Eater. All right, she is my largest tarantula, approaching nine inches. And ladies and gentlemen, that, that concludes part one of my feeding video 148. All right guys, so thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed uh, the feeding video. It's been a while since I last posted on YouTube and it's such a great thing to be back and doing the thing that you love, the, which I love to do and you guys love watching me and I certainly appreciate it. All right guys, so don't, uh, forget to rate, comment, subscribe, comment on your favorite part of the feeding video, and we still have other uh, teas to feed. So, we fed these two shelves, Balloon Boy, Funtime Freddy, Circus Baby, and this shelf here, and the bottom one. So that means that whatever I have from here, 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 and here is going to be um, our next part. So unfortunately, I had a big Cambridge here. Unfortunately, she passed away. Uh, so I replaced it with a small Pyramenia. And unfortunately, my L. Valsiopis passed away, but I picked up a really nice 
uh, big mean S calciatum, which hopefully will feature. And of course, here's my pink toe, my avic avic. Alright guys, so thanks for watching and see you soon.